Why don't you? It's, it's like so, so explicit. Okay, there. why don't you explain it to me? No, you know what? I don't even care. Why, why do I even study this? It's not even useful. Of course it is. <laughs> no, prove it. I can't prove it, but you know, it has its, its usefulness. Okay, you can't prove it? I can't believe it. Okay, you two stop fighting. Make me. Idiot. It's important. First, we need to search the origins of it. Okay, I want you to see. Let's search, Laura. It started between 300 before Christ in Babylonia. They were already using degree measurements for angles. Their numerals were based on the number 60. That's 60 degrees for us. That equals to the radius of a circle. They were also the first that started to use coordinates for stars. They measured the longitude in degrees contraclockwise from the vernal points as seen from the North Pole. This is Hipparchus. He was a geographer, mathematician, and astronomer. He was also known as the trigonometry's father. He created the first table of chords. He calculated the mean lunar month. He discovered the precision of equinoxes and a measurement of that precision. And he wrote a 12-book work about chords and angles, the first known work about trigonometry. After him came the king Menelaus. He named his work Sferica, also known as Menelaus' court theorem. It relates arcs and circles on spheres. His work read as follows. Sin CE divided by sin EA equals sin CF divided by sin FD times sin BD divided by sin BA. And sin CA divided by sin EA equals sin CD divided by sin FD times sin BF divided by sin BE. And lastly, there was Pitolemy. His most famous work was the Mathematics in Taxes, Mathematical Collection or Almagest. It included mathematical theory related to astronomy, a trigonometric table of chords and angles of pentagon. It was a constructable table. He proved the theorem that gives the sum and difference formula for chords. The cyclic quadrilateral, that is quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, the product of the diagonal equals to the sum of products of the opposite sides. Architecture. Astronomy. Measuring spaces. And heights. Nothing. Okay, nothing. And mountains, and the, like the height of a tree. And the height of a car. Everything. And like, they use it to save time, you know, and time is money. Trigonometry changes human race by making important calculations such as height in order to make development faster. Astronomers, mathematicians, and geographers have used the degree and measurements to save money, time, and make life easier. Okay.